Right then, a little bit of a different video here. We keep getting asked all the time what coolant we're running our cars and what we're doing when we're running electric water pumps and stuff like that. So I was just mixing a batch up, so it kind of made sense to, uh, to that now. So what we've got here is, I think this is a four stage reverse osmosis setup. So you've got your water comes from your main tap here in this filter, in this filter, into this membrane, squeeze it through this membrane here inside and then the waste water comes out of here through this restrictor back into your drain and then the good water comes out of here into this resin filter which is an extra you can get three stage and this is a four stage so and then this pushes clean good water out so i'll do a little demonstration if possible so if we see it probably comes out a bit murky out of there mainly because it's a new setup we've only just put this one in because it's cheaper to buy it brand new than it is to so the the rubbish comes out before the good stuff so this water has got all the contaminants in and then this water is a clean water but i know it's going to waste at the minute but you've got to run i think 15 liters through this because this might still have contaminants in before you go so the first stage of this obviously is a reverse osmosis water so what we normally do just put that into a drum so there's a bit left in this one until that's nearly full and then we can start doing the mixing process so then what we do we put this castrol radical in so which the ratio this works out to a six of these radicals to 13 liters of water or thereabouts and then we put one of these hypercools in so what this is is a corrosion in, in, inhibitor, I, can't, I can never say that word, inhibitor, as well as like a, a water wetter, they've sort of, I can't, there's, there's loads of different kinds of these sort of things. And basically it removes the surface tension in the water so then you should get sort of less bubbles and more surface area of the, um, like the block or the head or whatever, getting nice water cooling water touching against it rather than pockets of air and stuff like that that are not going to take the air away so this works really well you could just run this straight in with the reverse osmosis water but what this coolant's really good for and we'll sort of put onto this by some people that do know what they're talking about this has got really really good lubrication properties which this has got a bit of lubrication properties, but when you're running, especially the electric water pumps, if you look how they're designed inside, they've got like a, a gallery that goes inside to lubricate both sides of the bearing. If you've not got this stuff in and you just run plain water with this, you'll kill the water pumps. We've done it and we've had that problem. But this coolant is also quite good because it's more of a summer coolant than a winter coolant. So it, you have to mix it quite aggressively. You'd have to put probably nine of these in if you're running it in like really cold climates it's got a really good specific heat capacity so it's not as bad as some like that like the g13 and the g12 and all that sort of stuff they're really good for uh, lubrication they're not too they're probably the g12 plus plus is be the best for the lubrication but that's got glycol in but anyway but this has got a really good specific heat capacity so putting this in it'll mean that we're not going to be freezing when it gets to minus one minus two minus three Obviously, we've gone down minus 10, minus 20, we need to put more in. But it's also not going to take away the cooling ability of the water because a lot of people think this is cooling. It's not really cool, it's just antifreeze, corrosion inhibitor, all that sort of stuff. It's not actually helping the water cool at all. So you've got to make sure you choose the right coolant that doesn't take away the specific heat capacity of water because the best conductor of what, uh, heat is just plain water. But we put the reverse osmosis water in there because that's got none of the crap and the lime scale that's going to cause you problems. Mix this concoction up and it's definitely the best coolant we've ever used and it'll give you no problems. We sell all this on the website. The links are below. Have a look at other videos if you want to see what other stuff we do. Thank you.